Uterine leomyomas, also known as myomas or fibroids, is a common condition which affects up to 40% of women of reproductive age. Uterine fibroids are benign progesterone and estrogen sensitive tumors arising in the smooth muscle cells of the myometrium. Fibroids can range in size. They can be solitary or, more often, multiple. They are classified as intramural, subserous, and submucous. The majority of women with fibroids are asymptomatic, but when symptoms do appear, they cause significant morbidity and affect women's quality of life. The main symptoms are excessive uterine bleeding, in many cases even leading to severe anemia, pelvic pain, and pressure effects such as frequent urination or incontinence. Fibroids which are frequently distorting uterine cavity can also cause infertility, miscarriage, and other pregnancy complications. Progesterone was recently identified as one of the key growth factors in the pathogenesis of fibroids. Fibroids respond to progesterone because of the presence of progesterone receptors in their cells. This finding supports the development of a new class of compounds. The selective progesterone receptor modulators, called SPRM, which exert a specific action when binding to the progesterone receptor. The first SPRM available for the treatment of fibroids is known under the trade name of ESMIA. ESMIA is a once-daily, orally active pill. Once in the body, ESMIA will enter the cell and selectively bind to the intracellular progesterone receptors. Inside the nucleus, progesterone receptor coupled to ESMIA form a dimer. This dimer will bind to part of the DNA that controls the expression of genes that are normally regulated by progesterone, known as the progesterone response element, PRE. In most tissues, the presence of ESMIA allows the recruitment and binding of a family of proteins known as co-repressors that block the transcription of genes induced by progesterone receptors. In this situation, gene expression that is usually activated by progesterone is switched off. In other tissues and in other circumstances, the presence of ESMIA attracts the binding of co-activators that enable the activity of progesterone receptors. In this situation, some of the gene expression normally activated by progesterone is also activated by ESMIA. This explains ESMIA's dual action, which can mimic or block the normal actions of progesterone depending on the type of cell, and on the presence of co-activators or co-repressors, or both. ESMIA exerts direct action on three different target tissues, the fibroids, the pituitary gland, and on the endometrium. On fibroids, ESMIA action blocks the progesterone receptors, inhibiting cell proliferation and inducing apoptosis or cell death. This results in the shrinkage of fibroids, which can be maintained for up to six months after the treatment is stopped. ESMIA has similar effect on all types of fibroids, regardless of their location or size. Another important tissue on which ESMIA has direct action is the pituitary gland. It selectively blocks progesterone activity, reducing luteinizing hormone LH and follicle-stimulating hormone FSH secretion while maintaining mid-follicular estrogen levels. This is important as most women do not experience hot flashes, which are frequently seen with other therapies. By its direct action on the pituitary, ESMIA inhibits the ovulation which contributes to inducing amenorrhea or complete absence of bleeding. A third important tissue on which ESMIA exerts a direct effect is the endometrium, which contributes to the quick reduction and often total suppression of uterine bleeding. ESMIA's activity may transform the endometrium, resulting in PAEC, the progesterone receptor modulator, associated endometrial changes, characterized mainly by cystic glandular dilatation with low mitotic index. These changes are reversible and they disappear once treatment is stopped and menstruation has resumed. 
In clinical studies, Esmia treatment demonstrated control of bleeding in over 90% of patients, fast onset of action. For majority of women, the bleeding is controlled within seven days, and reduction of fibroid size, which can be maintained for up to six months after treatment is discontinued.